this video we are looking at factorial loops and I heard I'm writing that but there we go factorial loops and that just means we're going to use the factorial to create a number that loops back somehow just as a reminder or for the first time you might see factorial written as a number with an exclamation point this is pretty standard but what that means is you, you basically multiply that number by one less than that number all the way until you reach one right just keep multiplying so for example five factorial you start with five and then times one less than that four times three times two times one that's five factorial and you can solve this right five times four is twenty times three is sixty times two is one twenty so this is equal to one hundred and twenty um, so so what's a factorial loop? Well, let's start with one. Let's try 145. Well, the loop says we take the factorial of each of the digits and add them up. And what do we get? Well, in this case, we have one factorial, which is equal to one, plus four factorial, that's four times three times two times one, well, four times three is 12, times two is 24, so four factorial is 24, plus five factorial, which we just figured out, is 120. Now if I add these up, I get 145, so I've created my first loop. Took the number, split apart the digits, and found the factorial of each number, added those up, and I added back up, back to the beginning number, back to the original, so that's a loop. And some numbers take, take more than one step, um, but there are uh, other numbers that only take one step just like this. Another one is, is a much bigger jump, but it works. It's 40,585. So here, oops, here what we do is find the factorial of each digit. So it's 4 factorial, and then we add them, plus 0 factorial, plus 5 factorial, plus 8 factorial, plus 5 factorial. Now, if we add up all these, right, if we add up all these, we do get back to the original number. 4 factorial is 24. 0 factorial is 1, which we'll talk about in other videos. 5 factorial is 120. 8 factorial is a really large number, right? 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, and that gives us 40,320 plus another 120. Now, if we add up we add up all these, right? We do get back to this number. So again, that was a one-step loop. Let's try one that, that requires two steps. So let's say we start with 871. Well, we we split up these numbers and find the factorial and add those up. Well, each factorial again, that's a really large number, um, equaling 40,320. Seven factorial, also a very large number, which is 5,040, and 1 factorial, which is just 1. If we add these up, what do we get? Well, we get 45,361. So we're not back to the original, but let's do this again. Let's find the factorial of each of these digits and then add them up. So it'll be 4 factorial, plus 5 factorial, plus 3 factorial, plus 6 factorial, plus 1 factorial. So 4 factorial, again, that's 24, right? Plus 5 factorial is 120, plus 6 is 3 factorial, plus 6 factorial, which is 720, plus 1 factorial, which is 1. If we add up all these, we get 871. So we came back to the original number. And if we repeated this process, we split 871, end up back at four, you know, 45,361, and then back to 871. So we go from 871 to 45,361 and then back to it, and we've created a loop. And we can look at all different types of numbers here. I don't have to look too many because these, these numbers are few and far in between, and some of them are just very large. So for example, and some of them take many cycles. So the number 169 will take three cycles to return back to its original. And in fact, I don't, I don't even look at that here because um, 
other than just say what it is, because 9 factorial is a very large number. But if I take 169, right, and I split this number up and add the factorials, 1 factorial plus 6 factorial plus 9 factorial, what I end up at is 363,601. And then I have to repeat the process with this number. So now we add these factorials, 3 factorial plus 6 factorial plus 3 factorial plus 6 factorial plus 0 factorial plus 1 factorial. Whew, if we add those, what we get is 1,454. And repeat again. This time 1,454 is 1 factorial, to the arrow, plus 4 factorial, plus 5 factorial, plus 4 factorial. Here we have 1 plus 24 plus 24 plus 120, and that is 169. So we created that loop through three steps.